and a huge round of applause in the background for the elegant shuffling. Or maybe for something entirely different. Or maybe for me. I'm going to stick with something entirely different. Yeah, you do that. Let's see how that works out for you. And Hello. we're off to the race. We're joined and by uh, uh, Joel Larson. What up? Uh, nothing 13th special. place player in the, in the tournament. tournament. Yeah. It won you some boosters at least. Yeah. yeah. He'll join us for the finals here. Yeah. Uh, have been playing the blue black uh, devotion deck on Magic Online Dark and. Dark Skies, actually. And uh, Protor. Uh, Whatever it was the last time, Theros. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I, I mean, I hope so. At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Do you have I any? Think, I think the uh, thoughts on this matchup is that uh, uh, Mono Black deck has several answers to the key cards, which yeah. is Master and the Devotion guys. Yeah. And uh, key cards for Thomas is Fasa, which we see here. To always be able to scry up new spells because it will be a pretty grindy matchup at most of the times. So. Yeah, yeah. And Bident is very important as well. It's probably his best card here in the matchup. Okay. So it's it's I would say it's maybe slightly favored to the black side, but it's pretty close. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the the, the blue deck needs need some kind of card ring to keep up with the down world connections. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why uh, also Biden is so important is that when you have Fassa and Biden, you can always scry up Devotion guys to get in with Fassa. Because the removals won't be enough to kill every single Doom. Yeah, it yeah, always yeah, yeah. turns around. And they can't always kill Fassa. So. No. Pack right here for, uh, for Per. Um, pretty good early card to have here. Uh. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you gotta be uh, having pressure from uh, the blue side, mm -hmm. at least, because you don't really have an answer to what they're trying to do. Yeah. If you're getting behind and uh, the Secretion Demon results, or a Grave Merchant comes in with some helpful devotion, I mean, it's pretty hard to get back in this matchup. Mm -hmm. They don't have any any kind of spells like that stops uh, the black deck's game plan. So. Yeah, the, the blue deck is very focused on doing its own thing. It, it, doesn't yeah. interact very much on on like any level. It, it has some gainsays or some uh, um, uh, the blue w instant that destroys a guy. Uh, Rapid yeah. harvestation. Rapid harvestation. Exactly. Which will probably be brought in here because yeah. you don't want to be starting to uh, abyss yourself against the secretion demon every time. Yeah. And it actually makes your because usually you, you have to keep in some tie bend mages as well. Because uh, you, you need to keep your devotion in, and you can push yeah. uh, for fast side and so on. And uh, Red Harvest Session actually makes a beast, I think. Yeah. yeah. A frog lizard or something. Uh, or something. Similar. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then it has a target. So it's actually relevant sometimes. Yeah. Not so often. This game will be interesting. Seems like Paris. I think on lands? No, I, 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 th I think he has two lands to the right here. Uh, those are, those so, are the white uh, words. Tom, Thomas uh, started off this game. Uh, after the mulligan, uh, the thought seized from Paris showed uh, uh, Frostburn Weird and the uh, Knight and Raptor that was played now. And no more play from Thomas though. Uh, the last card in the hand is unknown to yeah. all. To except all. for Thomas. Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe th th this game won't be very interesting at all because, uh, as it looks now, the the pack rat seems to be uh, will 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 dominate this game. Yeah. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Most uh, likely. I mean, uh, it could be a contention if he manages to draw like a monster or something, and maybe in some way gets the cyclonic rift man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have sure Nykthos, so he has yeah. one Nykthos, so. Yeah. Exactly. So that's a pretty good. I mean, if you overload it against Packard, you'll yeah. know what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can, you can have a temple swing and an X for one. You can yeah. say. Yeah. You can have your one one back yeah. for two. <laughs> that is fine. Uh, so an attack in for free from uh, from Para here with the mute of alt activating as well to to pump up the rats. Yeah. Uh, and, and we see master. We master. do see master. Um, only three small guys, but 
that could be enough to to stave off uh, Paris attack for a turn or two if he, yeah. he doesn't find an answer to uh, yeah. to the master. What's also sweet here is that uh, Calvin and Raptor actually get three triggers, but only two of them obviously makes makes, makes Calvin Raptor yeah. evolve. Yeah. Uh, if you have multiple monsters, I mean, if you play another monster, you can evolve it up to three times. So. It's pretty good here. It turns on his Raptor. It actually gives him some kind of game. Yeah, exactly. And also now he's only uh, like a Tidebinder mage away from turning on his Tasa. Yep. Or Frostbolt. Or, or for, oh, yeah, exactly. A two devotion. And there we have Doomblade, so it's looking very grim here. Yeah. Doomblade and a new rat. Yeah. Will uh, hit in for six, bringing Thomas down to eleven. He really needs to uh, to yeah. find something to turn on uh, Thassa to to stem the horde of rats that keep attacking. Yeah. He, he kind of needs to go right into like try to overload the uh, whatever it's called now again. Cyclonic Rift. Cyclonic Rift. Yeah. Or, uh, drawing multiple masters. Otherwise, I think this is game. Because Harry yeah. doesn't have uh, underworld connections, which kind of keeps the black deck ticking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you caught one for for forever with removals and like it's calling all your cards to the back, right? It's, it's a pretty streamlined plan, but because the blue deck doesn't have too much answers again, it, it works fine. Yeah. I was thinking that even uh, I was thinking that Thomas may, might be able to use draw. Uh, Nightscape, uh, night night inspector to actually turn on Fassa yep. uh, on the block, but he would still need to jump away with one of his his guys to s just stay alive, yep. uh, and then maybe being able to draw into say a Divident or um, uh, something. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, essentially Bident uh, to yep. draw into a Nyctos plus yeah, a Cyclonic yeah. Rift. So, uh, yeah. very, very <laughs> long shot, but most likely this game is going to be over. So Thomas is facing down uh, yeah. a lot of damage. Lethal damage, I dare <laughs> 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 uh, So That's uh, becoming five fives. Yeah, exactly, with, with, with the mutable world counting as, uh, as the extra red there. Per, per takes the first game here pretty easily. Uh, turn three, Pack Rat. Uh, it was, uh, in, in all, a good all, play here. All, all, all fairness, it, it was, it was uh, uh, Mulligan to six. That got thought ceased, and he yeah. got, got the the turn two pack rat. Yeah, it was turn three pack rat. Was it turn three? Yeah, it was a later pack rat, but okay. it's still enough to uh, to uh, to just seal the game uh, sure. with with too much loan resources and loan cards. Uh, it's not much you can do after that. And that's also uh, the problem with uh, these devotion decks. If you count out the black deck, that actually has card draw in mm -hmm. other. It has a different game plan that the other devotion decks have because the yeah. devotion decks just they don't want to interact too much they just want to play a pow more powerful game than their yeah, yeah, yeah exactly and if you mulligan because you need all your pieces right yeah. it's a powerful plan but it doesn't it ha has key cards but it also needs uh, card quantity and quality yeah. you need yeah. all the devotion it also needs the uh, cards that actually makes the devotion good right? yeah, 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 yeah. so a mulligan and Fartis, I mean you're then left with a cloud from reference or something else. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, <laughs> like you have to draw very, very well to get out of it. And all of a sudden, your your hand is looking looking like a Ravnica limited. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which also makes uh, Fasta so great. I mean, it fixes the the lacking pieces. So yeah, so. yeah. Scry just scrying every turn is incredibly powerful. But also, if you can just turn her on, it's. Ooh. It's Ooh. a five-five indestructible. <laughs> she will stand in front of anything, and once she's on the attack, it, it's over pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you get the devotion o online uh, and you're ahead of the board, it's very hard. To, I mean, if you don't run Supreme Verdict or something similar to it, I mean, yeah. it's very hard to turn on. Oh. So, uh, how come you um, you yeah. chose the deck that you played, the the green blue one? Uh, yeah, I played a, a, a blue green ramp deck, kind yeah. of. It's close to uh, Mikara Mihara's deck uh, from the Proto Theros, his green red deck. Yeah. I was building on the deck uh, before the Proto, but I never managed to finish it because I, it was early and uh, like our metagame was kind of weird, mm -hmm. and our, my first version was kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, didn't have time to like finish the idea of the deck. 
the, 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 the profit of Krufix seems seems uh, like a pretty sick card. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> sweet. Uh, in one game, I managed to, on turn six, I had drawn 17 extra cards. <laughs> Uh, and on turn six, I played a uh, Garruk, thinking about playing three more Garruks the same turn, but instead <laughs> I made a 35-35 Miscat Hydra. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. So, how did you win? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did exactly. you realize the Hydra was face right? Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, my cover is pretty good. I mean, it only contained one burning tree. Oh. Also. That's, so, uh, I'm, yeah, I, I think I'm, yeah. You well, earned something. Yeah, there's where profit comes in for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you manage to play something very powerful in every turn with profit, yeah, it's like you time work every turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, like you're having all the manas, drawing all the cards, and playing all the yeah. creatures. It's so like the magic the way it should be. So, exactly. <laughs> it was something like uh, I started out with like Mystic into Ramp uh, guy, and I was playing against Blue White. Yeah. So he played Ratchet Bomb. And I uh, played Prophet and untapped my lands and passed the turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then he played uh, a Jace. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, sorry, I played Burning Tree with Prophet. Uh, then I bestowed the uh, Boom Sitter onto Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, took my turn, yeah. played uh, S Prime Speaker Sagana, yeah. drawing seven cards, <laughs> killing Jace, uh, untapping my land, passing the turn. Yeah. And I, also have a Nyctos here, so yeah, 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 yeah. So he thinks for a bit, and then he plays the Tension Sphere on my Sigana, and passes the turn. So at the end of the turn, I make a 9-9 nine, nine, uh, Miscata Hydra, yeah. and I Cyclonic Rift his Detention Sphere, to draw 10 <laughs> more cards. <laughs> and yeah, then on turn 6, all of the other things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And we see a starting hand for Par with doubled uh, Underworld Connections. And I think three lands, two underworld connections. I can't see what the two closest cards here are. Yeah. Well, underworld connection is a really interesting card in this matchup because sometimes it's really, really good. Yeah. But sometimes it's just terrible. I mean, if Thomas is on the play and he leads off without, if he curves out into Thassa with yeah. devotion, uh, you're never gonna get to play underworld connections, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, but it also it's also needed for the deck to take as I said before. So, I mean, you can't sit there and kill all the one ones right no 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 Be <laughs> because yeah it, 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 in in the end uh, the th thoughts of scribe will, will, will take over yeah yeah exactly and it's also uh, i mean that's also why biden's so good i mean par he, he doesn't run any kind of sweeper effects he doesn't run supreme bird no no anger of the gods yeah. no like cyclonic rift and you no know, yep. sweeping away uh so he has to one for one all the creatures, and when Binding comes online, all of this creature becomes a huge threat all of a sudden. I mean, yeah. they become actual, what do you call Ophidians? <laughs> yeah, Ophidians, yeah. exactly. Scroll thieves in all Scroll kinds. thieves, they're not thieves. In, the, yeah. in, in modern days. But yeah. <laughs> well, Ophidian didn't deal damage if you draw yeah. three cards. So <laughs> okay. They're yeah. scroll thieves. Yeah, Binding and Ophidian is a real combo. In all <laughs> fairness, yeah. they're Finkels. Uh, which was the first one to do, draw a card? Well, they're feeding magpies. Uh, I'm all yeah, over the place. They're, they're, they're feeding all. magpies. Yeah. It was the first guy that uh, drew, drew a card when dealing damage. Or they're just random blue dudes with Biden of Thousands in play. Yeah. So no, unfortunately, I'm, I'm Th Thomas they're... doesn't have a, uh, uh, a Frostbone with here. I mean, Tybin Mage obviously much worse in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, because uh, he will bring in Fairy Cure just to kill Mosses, have more targets and so on. Mm -hmm. And also, Ultimate Prize doesn't kill Frostman Wave as well. So, leading with that, it usually survives, which means that you get devotion right away. Yeah. Which is very important. So, the Mulligan 6 here, uh, we can yeah, assume that, that maybe uh, maybe he uh, held on to Free Islands, uh, the two sheeper creatures, and uh, one of the other free cards, and the draws. Uh, has yeah, has been well. pretty pretty well. Yeah, either yeah. master. I guess or he, the he could have even have held uh, two islands and the yeah. four spells. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, uh, Knight Inspector in this matchup is very very powerful. As yeah. we talked about earlier, the fast is one of the most important cards here. Yeah. And it's obviously free devotion for that, but uh, if you look at Paranistrum's removals, it's very hard to kill yeah. it. It's only here's downfall that actually kills it. Yeah. Here's downfall and, and maybe devour flesh. Yeah, uh, maybe devour flesh. Hopefully not for Thomas. No, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's conditional, at least. So yeah. yeah. 
which means it's fairly weird. The secretion demon blocks it, but it can be kind of awkward. I mean, you play the secretion demon and he plays monster, and you know, you yeah, just okay. sacrifice the token, tap him, and get there. Yeah. So he finds a, a um, disagreeing demon. demon here. Here's where he nicked us off yeah. the top. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's where my deck, uh, uh, a good thing with black comes in as well. Uh, instead of uh, only, I mean, you run, uh, of course, bosses and ultimate prices in yeah. black. Yeah. Which solves a lot of the problems. But also, your Knight Respector becomes way more powerful. Because True. you play against all these black decks and you can all of a sudden right away play their cards. Yeah. yeah. So we see a Desecration Demon for uh, for Per. He also had a quick freak as Cure uh, for the Master Ways coming down yeah. for Thomas yeah. uh, on his previous turn. So Thomas needs to peel here, or uh, Paranitrum will run I away think with this game. No, is it a Falcon Rocket Press? Yeah. yeah. Alright, and a Passer? No. So okay, the question so now becomes if he. Does, does he want to wait? I think uh, he just passes turn here. And yeah. uh, on his uh, uh, patch uh, attack phase, he's going to sacrifice the Falcon Raptor probably. Because then he gets more value for the sacrifice effect, right? Yeah. Because Per can't attack, and he also gets both Knight Prospectors. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Par will uh, use his ultimate price uh, before the trigger here. Yeah, that he just likely. drew. Yeah, he has an ultimate price. Yeah, he just drew it. All right, and two underworld connections, right? Yeah. All right, so Par has a pretty good turn here. I mean, he's kind of. I don't think here there's an ultimate price. No? You don't think no, so? No, no, no. There's no ultimate price. No ultimate price, which means Thomas' turn will be immensely much better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it depends on where the draws, though. I mean. Thomas has some very, very live top decks here. I mean, his key cards are so good right now because of the amount of devotion he has. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both Master and Biden. It's like, if your opponent has this creation demon and you get a Biden, I mean, you can sacrifice how many cre small creatures you want, right? Yeah. You're just going to come peeling through every yeah. turn. Yeah, Biden here would be great for Thomas. Basically, uh, getting to look at four new cards that you can play this turn. Yeah. Uh, Pretty good. It's, uh, yeah. it's usually something that you actually want to do. If you've played Opportunity in Limited, <laughs> think of playing into Constructive, that's actually yeah. powerful card. Yeah. I mean. So uh, he will sacrifice the, the Falcon Raptor yeah. to his clear duty. his way for... Uh, it is duty. To yeah, exactly. The team. Yeah. You gotta be devoted, right? You gotta be devoted. Uh, so we find a swamp and... Another, another, another decision decision demon. demon. Quickly place a swamp, yeah. uh, hoping to uh, get another swamp. Yeah. yeah, hitting a second land here. Putting out this Grishin demon can't be bad. The no. <laughs> most amazing thing that could happen now is if both the Knight Prospectors gets to live and uh, Thomas actually draws and nicked us yeah. from the top now. <laughs> giving himself six black mana. Playing uh, all of and them. playing both of the that would be pretty awesome. Both of the discretion demons from the, the Knight Prospector. And it's there. actually I mean the chances aren't too low. I mean, Pyre got a draws something in his free uh, uh, two draws here. Sorry, yeah. yeah Packard was one of the draws. Then he yeah. has an unwall connections, and he drew a card at the end of the turn as well. Yeah. So he has three draws to take care of this situation, and he seems to have drawn a Calpher Raptor. Calpher Raptor, so so devoted to helping yeah. their and prospectors. Yeah. And here, there is an ultimate price, so yeah. he won't be uh, getting to to uh, sacrifice it to. Uh, to yeah. the demon. No. The question now becomes: Do you sacrifice the smaller uh, character or uh, knife inspector? The, the, the non non loaded non loaded one. Uh, I wouldn't say you sacrifice anything here. Yeah. I mean, you're you're in a bit of a rush because Perry has underworld connections, but you can't really and, take and the chance of just hitting. A, yeah, and pack rat, which, which is a pretty good combination. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> if for anyone out there not knows. Yeah, yeah. If nobody realizes, yes. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so, actually. I mean, depends. It's kind of close. Next turn, he will probably have to do it if he doesn't draw anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because the clock is really ticking now. Because if I draw multiple cards, his board is becoming way bigger. And, and yeah. I mean, just playing a, a, a land now. Well. Uh, playing a land now would be insane for for Par, uh, where he could draw the card with the underworld connection. And still, yeah, we'll uh, see a great merchant here as well. I we still make two rats. Two, two, two great merchants. Uh, so I think this game is over. Yeah. I think this is pretty much wrapped up. It's too bad, though. We were almost having a very interesting game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can start hit. I mean, when he plays the secretion demon, he has more devotion to black than <laughs> the power <laughs> has. I mean, <laughs> if he starts hitting all these great merchants, might as well go for it, right? Yeah, true. Exactly.
but that, that's uh, Thomas is uh, out. Yeah, I don't think he has any more outs though. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is looking very bad. He's just gonna start shaming sh the green merchant. He's maybe thinking about uh, being a, making a bigger wrath army first. Yeah, uh, that's my my thinking here is that. Um, but I don't think so. I think he just runs out these green merchants. It's gonna drain him for five, seven. Seven. So he got stun six, and the next one will be lethal for yeah. sure. Doesn't look good. Time to draw Nictus. Hit a Grey Merchant. It's possible. <laughs> Thomas has his own Nictus, right? Yeah. Yeah. He has, so. he has one. Yeah. One. Thomas has one Nictus in main and one in sideboard. Yeah. Uh, I guess that it's plausible that he could bring it in in this matchup, but I don't think so. I he would know. pretty much need to peel the Nictus, uh, uh, attack with both his uh, his guys, uh, hit uh, and merchant. then. Uh, Start drawing, uh, peeling gray, gray merchants All right. from the top of Paris. Let's see if we can uh, find a swamp and a gray merchant. Yeah. There's swamp. swamp. <laughs> and a <laughs> desecration <laughs> demon. This is over. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he knows it. Uh, with, a bit, with a bit more time, it would have been sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, whatever hey. about these skeleton raptors, just play demons in my blue deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They seem way much weirder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was. Um, some some uh, some unfortunate draws for Thomas, but uh, uh, yeah. Per obviously keeping it tight and uh, being luckier under draw. Yeah, again, again we see the uh, Mulligan the six thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's super hard to to, uh, to return from that. Yeah, and yeah. Thoughts is a very powerful card. Yeah, I I, I, th I think th that's uh, that, that's what we're looking forward to in in the, the current standard that. When you draw a starting hand, discount your best card. Yeah. Like if you don't know what you're what you're up against, you just just count on it. It's getting thoughts Yeah. Or you peel perfect. Yeah. That's like Sam Black for like example. Sam Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought, I I thought this in on the in card. I'm still better. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought this in, in uh, and I see a hand of uh, three islands, uh, mutable, Nyctos, yeah. Raper Hubble Station, and a uh, Night Inspector. I'm like, okay. I have a pretty good curve as well, and yeah, I'm yeah, only yeah. playing, so I'll take the nice inspector, most obviously. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. have your starting hand on the top seven of cards as well. Yeah. Yeah, he just drew whatever he had and, and played fast, I put everything on top. Yeah. You know. So that's also, I mean, a problem with all this, this card spots. You can't make yourself sure to get rid of certain cards because. No. I mean, they it's, not something, it's not a counter spell, I mean. Or yeah. Maybe. That's well, what set up for Pay Tekken, right? Yes, uh, and the Paranism takes home 5,000 Swedish crowns. Yay! Hooray! Good job! <laughs> Good job. Uh, go him. And uh, Thomas Wessling has to settle for 2,500. Yeah. And, not, so uh, bad. not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. And oh, here we have the winner! God. We'll let the winner into the circle here. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Congratulations. So, get in there. Yeah. How do you win when a pawn doesn't well against the six and you thought to him uh, turn one? <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a good game plan. I yeah, think that <laughs> good I game plan. Good, yeah. good game plan. Good hands. Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, so, uh, the, is the the blue uh, matchup, the blue devotion matchup, this lopsided usually, or is it? No, uh, no, no. no. I, I got crushed by him. Oh well, yeah, round ten or something. Uh, yeah. It's pretty close, right? There are some key cards, and I mean, fast and moss and having removals and so. Uh, well, Tassa is not the key card. The key is having removal enough to kill well his guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, what I mean is like if you get ahead on devotion, you don't mm -hmm. kill this guy directly. Mm -hmm. Tassa will it will be hard to turn off Tassa every turn yeah. if he keeps crying, you know. And Biden is also very good. So, so which was uh, your hardest matchup uh, in the uh, <laughs> today? The, the blue. The uh, I think when I played against Eric Luding, the green right deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he can return five twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any five. chance. Uh, no. Yeah. Maybe there's. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, the, the, the green white deck seemed very position, good position for the for the meta. Just just yeah. doing his own thing, play, playing the largest creature yeah. at, at every point in the curve and turning the sideways. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty interesting because the green white really f fell off because of the mono blue. Yeah. And here we have had we have like two or three mono blue. I mean a few, and we almost only had Esper and mono black. Yeah. And green white is very good against most of those things. So it was a pretty good choice. But he managed to lose against mono black in the bait. Yeah. What, yeah. The green white. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess so. So um, how does it feel? <laughs> 
Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Pretty happy. Uh, so what are you going to do with the money? Uh, I don't know. Go to a couple of GPs perhaps? Go, go to Vienna for starters. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a nice one. That's yeah. the uh, the last uh, GP for this year, right? I don't know, but it's in a month and it's okay. standard too. Yeah. Uh, any changes to the deck? Yeah. We be goodbye to whip. No? Yeah. <laughs> you don't like whip? Yeah, no. I mean, uh, it get, managed to get the tension screwed in the semi-finals, right? That was pretty good. Yeah. That, that happened. It was a permanent that didn't get killed by the raw. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so what, what what happened in the semi-finals with the, uh, the, the semi-finals? I think I misplayed, so I punt the first game. Okay. Uh, it, it became a life race where basically my mute of all uh, attacked for two every turn and I played something and he had an answer for it. Okay. okay. And uh, there was a pivotal turn where I attacked and he was able to charm it <laughs> instead of me just passing a... What's it called? Merchant. Merchant, yeah. Third match and then having more pressure for the next time. Okay. Uh, but the subsequent games went well. I killed him with Mutal Wolves. Yeah, played, like. <laughs> played something, he answered it, attacked with some damage. Yeah, got the air into play. It's kind of one of the pillars in standard for sure. I mean, Mutal Wolves. Yeah. yeah, pretty good card. Solves, I mean, you can't get away with playing Monocolor, playing Mutal Wolves. Yeah, much more easy. Well, uh. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck in Vienna. Yeah, thank you. Have a nice day. The same to you.